How y'all doing? It's Kevin with Rookie Wild and I've been away from making videos for a long time and I've been through a name change and I'm gonna change the concept up a little bit. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the concept bit. I wasn't really feeling compelled to create archery videos. I'm really into archery, but I'm into a lot of other stuff too. Um, I'm into outdoor stuff, I'm into photography and filmmaking. The thing that's been really getting me excited lately is uh, this idea that, that we humans are crazy people, first of all, but uh, we are doing as hobbies uh, the kinds of things that um, were once essential to human survival. And so uh, I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but anyway, uh, Rookie Wild Outdoors is now officially the name of the channel. And uh, that being said, let's start with some more archery. So uh, if you guys are following me on Instagram or uh, Twitter, you might have known that I got this package from Lancaster Archery. Uh, I made this order a while back because it was my birthday and I was like, oh, I really, I just wanted to buy myself a little present. So I bought myself a new set of arrows. Now I have been using either Easton Power Flights or Easton Aviators, which I'll talk about probably in another video at some point but I decided that I was gonna check out these Easton light speeds. It's a 500 spine, 6.5 cranes per inch. Got six of them to try out because I wasn't sure if I would really like them. They're running a uh, the Easton Genox, which I bought in fluorescent green. They run Easton CB inserts, and uh, I got these points. 125 grain points, but they're sort of the, co the, the combo points. The, uh, what brand are they? The Saunders combo points. Uh, I'm gonna fletch them with uh, some twister veins, uh, and because uh, I have some of those around. The other thing, so today uh, my wife flew out of town, and uh, I dropped her and uh, her boss off at the airport. Uh, there are a couple awesome ladies, but I figured since I was already up by that way anyway, I'd stop in at Bass Pro Shops. They're really not that close together, but it was an excuse. Um, and I got this, uh, what I thought was a pretty good price on a new set of binoculars. Now I've been shopping and I bought a really cheap pair, even just like, I think it was last week. And they were at 1025, um, this is new brand. Hold on, let me get it. Never mind, I can't find them. Uh, I'll make another video later. But anyway, so I was um, looking for a set that was better than those. They were too dark, the glass is no good. They were like, they were 10 bucks, 15 bucks, because uh, there's a new store opening up in this, these parts. Um, and uh, and th they're fine for what they are, and I'll probably toss them in my go bag, but um, I just, I really wanted something that, you know, when I'm out in the 3D field, I could actually see where the, the, the vital lines are and where my arrows hit. And so I picked up the Bushnell Legend E series, 10 by 42 millimeter binoculars. I set up a stupid amount of time uh, uh, chatting with the guy at Bass Pro uh, and looking through various things and evaluating back and forth. No, I look through lenses all the time, so I kind of have a sense of what good glass looks like and bad glass looks like. So, so when you look at some of the, the cheaper ones, you're like, oh, this glass is bad, and that's why these binoculars are $40. Um, so I decided to go up to get something that would last a little bit longer, uh, that would be good for all sorts of things from archery to bird watching to... Have you ever noticed that birds are actually very fascinating to watch? Like creatures just in general are fascinating to watch. And my, my wife's family, they're all birders. They love bird watching. They go for walks with the binoculars and look at birds and trees. And I never got it because I never tried it until I started doing it. And I was like, they're just fascinating. They're beautiful creatures. Anyway, I digress. So uh, the kit's pretty good. Uh, it comes in this sort of belt pack bag. I'm not sure if I'd wear this on my belt. Like, a, maybe maybe I would, but generally I don't wear like things as bulky on my belt. Like it's usually like a multi-tool or a, a, a 
just a utility knife or something like that. I really like a couple of things about them. One, just the build quality. It's really nice, sort of solid in your hands. But I can't really compare it to much else because I'm not an expert in this. Obviously, there's a lot of things I don't understand about binoculars. Somebody enters something in the comments that tells me about how I'm saying all the wrong things. The, the, the like really compact versions, I find like maybe it's just my face shape or maybe it's just uh, the nature of the beast with the compact versions, but they are definitely, uh, grr, 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 what's the word, um, really hard to see out of. Uh, so I like all of it and I'm really excited to get out and use these in the field. Thanks for joining me today. That's all I wanted to show you is all this cool stuff that uh, I was really excited about. Uh, I'll post some reviews. Uh, once I start using it and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, I'm gonna post a how-to video on fletching arrows because the last one I posted was like kind of rambly and silly uh, and then um, uh, if you got ideas send them my way I'm gonna explore things that are archery I'm gonna explore some traditional uh, lifestyle stuff yeah add me on social uh, uh, Twitter and Instagram you can find me at uh, at rookie wild and on Facebook at Rookie Wild Outdoors. All right, I hope you guys have a great night, day, whatever time it is when you're watching this.